everyone today we are going to discuss a question that was asked from the subject pediatrics in the aims 2018 exam my name is dr aditya gupta and let's begin the discussion for the question this is by the way the 16th question in the aims 2018 series and the question asked us that is a child who is 13 months old presents you in the opd has never been vaccinated and what all vaccines can be given to him the options were the first option included vaccine bcg hep b dpt opv and ipv the second option included ipv bcg pentavalent and mmr as an option the third option had pentavalent opv and mmr as an option while the fourth option had ipv mmr dpt and vitamin a in the option now let's discuss what all vaccines can be given to a 13 month old child at the heart of this question the examiner wants you to know what all vaccines can be given below 1 year of age and what all vaccines can be given at at an age more than 1 year because he's specifically asking 13 months old that is just cross the 1 year barrier so let's discuss that for, as far as catch a vaccination for dpt is concerned for dpt is concerned now you can give dpt to a child who's more than 1 year of age as far as uh, it's concerned if it's the child is below 7 year of age we can give the full dose dtp with the pertussis also as whole cell pertussis or acellular pertussis being given at 01 or 6 months at 01 or 6 months however if the child is above 7 year of age and we have to do catch up immunization the dose of the diphtheria component of toxoid has to be reduced from 25 lf to 2 lf hence the vaccine now is known as tdap it's now known as tdap it's called tdap the reason it's called tdap is because this d has become small from the bigger d of dpt the larger d the capital d it has become a small letter d because the dose has decreased from 25 to 2 and ap represents a cellular pertussis and it's given in it's given as tdap uh, t small d capital t and small d at 0 1 6 months because the dose of diphtheria toxoid has reduced from like i told you 25 to 2 and this is as far as catch up immunization of dpt is concerned now as you all know bcg as a vaccine it cannot be given at an age more than 1 year why because the primary reason that we give bcg is not prevention of pulmonary tuberculosis at a later age in the adults it's prevention from the severe forms of childhood tuberculosis tuberculosis such as miliary tuberculosis or tb meningitis so we give bcg to a child at less than 1 year of age in order to prevent from the severe forms of the disease not to prevent pulmonary tuberculosis so a person who has now crossed the 1 year barrier a child who has crossed the 1 year barrier he has most likely acquired natural subclinical tuber tb infection by the age of 1 year hence there is no use of giving bcg so we do not give bcg we do not give bcg at more than 1 year of age by the way this uh, statement that i'm showing to you i have taken it from the government of india guidelines present that are present on ministry of health and family welfare website and you can check them out from yourself as far as catch up vaccination for opv or ipv is concerned as far as ipv is concerned we give two doses at two months that are two months apart along with a booster dose of at six months now this is again taken from the ministry of health website and this is the question that is like exactly being asked as far as in the exam is concerned that a child who has come to you at 12 months of age after completing 12 months of age he's greater than 1 year old what all can you give him we can give dpt we can give opv and as iap suggests we can actually also give ipv that is intravi that is the sock vaccine we can also give ipv at 4 weeks interval along with the booster dose also with that we can give the measles vaccine or we can give the mmr vaccine along with vitamin a solution however such a child will n- will not receive he will not receive bcg hep b and pentavalent vaccine so pentavalent vaccine also pentavalent vaccine is essentially dpt plus hemophilus influenzae serotype b plus hep b combination vaccine 
even that cannot be given to a child who is greater than one year of age even that cannot be given so now as we look at the options it becomes evidently clear what the correct answer is so bcg is is in present in option 1 and 2 so these two are incorrect options we cannot give bcg now as far as pentavalent like we just saw as it's given in the ministry of health website uh pentavalent can also not be given so option 4 becomes the correct answer A similar question was actually asked in AIMS November two thousand seventeen in the twenty November two thousand seventeen exam that a child has presented to you with eighteen at eighteen months of age again more than one year what and has never been administered the vaccines before what will you administer as you can again see the pentavalent vaccine and BCG they are present in three options and these options get eliminated and DPT and OPV becomes the correct answer and. Uh, for as, as as far as this question is concerned the fourth option that is ipv mmr dpt and vitamin a is the correct answer we can give measles or mmr and ipv can be given in in lieu of oral polio vaccine remember that according to iap guidelines ipv can actually be given as far, as far as catch up immunization is concerned instead of opv thank you and have a nice day hi so i hope you guys enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel if you want such further updates on the aims may 2018 paper i'll be discussing one or two question of the paper every day share it with your friends who you think might benefit from these videos so thank you and have a nice day